If you're considering switching broadband provider, BT might be one of the options that you're looking into. BT broadband is available almost everywhere in the UK, and they offer ultra-fast speeds in some places. BT also offers a heap of different TV add-ons if you're looking to access TV channels like BT Sport or Sky Atlantic. In this video, we've reviewed BT Broadband to see if their broadband deals are good value for money. We've also looked at their customer service, as well as how to save money when buying BT Broadband. Before we begin, feel free to check out our BT Broadband deals guide, which is the first link in the description. This article provides a complete summary of BT's broadband and TV deals, including their pricing, what's included, and whether each deal is good value for money. BT's broadband deals are a bit different to most other providers. Depending on where you live, the deals available to you might have different names. In most areas that can access super fast broadband, you will have the choice of Fibre Essential, which offers 36 megabits per second, Fibre 1, which offers 50 megabits, or Fibre 2, which offers 67 megabits. In areas that can access ultra-fast BT broadband, you'll have the choice of these six different packages. Note that in this case, the plans are called full fibre rather than just fibre. All of these different broadband plans come with a minimum speed guarantee rather than just an average, which is a nice touch. Most providers only advertise an average download speed. Each BT broadband plan typically comes with a postage and packaging charge, as well as sometimes a separate setup fee. You can expect to pay in the region of 20 to 30 pounds to get set up with BT Broadband. As of right now, all BT Broadband plans come with a 24 month minimum contract. If you're looking for a more flexible broadband deal on a short term contract, it might be better to look for a different provider. It's worth noting though that BT does offer nine month contracts for students who are currently studying full time. BT Broadband is very rarely the cheapest option when comparing their plans to similar speed deals. However, if you don't mind paying a bit more for their better customer service or the add-ons that BT offers, there are a couple of ways to save money on BT Broadband. The easiest way to save money on BT Broadband is to buy through one of our affiliate links, which you'll find in the article in the description below. If you visit the BT website through one of these links, they'll typically add a free gift or some other sort of bonus onto your broadband deal. For example, at the moment BT are offering a reward card which is normally valuable enough to offset the cost of one or two months worth of broadband. The other way to save money on BT broadband is to keep an eye out for special promotions. We've noticed that sometimes BT removes the upfront cost associated with their deals for a short period, typically about a week or so. If you have the patience to wait for one of these promotions to run, you could save 20 to 30 pounds on BT broadband. BT gives you the option to buy Wi-Fi extenders, which can be quite helpful if you have a large house. If you buy this add-on, BT will guarantee that you'll get good Wi-Fi signal in every room in your house. You can also add on a heap of different TV channels with BT TV. These channels are sold in a range of different packages which you can pick and choose from, meaning you can just add on sport if that's all you want to watch. BT also offers a heap of different landline calling packages if you plan to use your home phone. However, they can be quite expensive. If you need any time landline calls, it might be best to use a different provider like Plusnet or Now Broadband. If you're in need of a mobile phone plan, it's also possible to add on a BT SIM to your broadband deal. This can actually be quite a good way to save a bit of money, provided that you're not currently in contract and you own your phone outright. Customer service with broadband companies can be a bit hit or miss. Some people have terrible experiences with a given provider, while others have no complaints. As a BT customer myself, I've found them to be mostly quite helpful. Initially, when making the order, they accidentally cancelled it, which caused a bit of a delay in getting live. It was easy enough to get through to BT to get the order reinstated. When we eventually got connected, the speeds were a lot slower than what we expected. BT were quite helpful once again. They sent out an engineer quickly who was able to fix the problem. Each year, Ofcom publishes a report into the customer service performance of each major British broadband provider. This is a great way to compare the typical level of customer service on offer from different broadband companies. In the 2022 report, BT customers waited an average of 106 seconds to speak to an agent on the phone. This is below the average, which was 136 seconds, but higher than TalkTalk, Talk, Now Broadband and Vodafone. BT also had a lower than average number of complaints that were escalated to Ofcom. However, 
They also had more complaints submitted per 100,000 customers than EE and Sky. Interestingly, from Ofcom's report, 88% of BT customers said that they were satisfied with the overall level of service they received. This was the highest of any provider, and second place was EE with 85%. If you need a short-term broadband contract or are looking to save as much money as possible, we wouldn't recommend BT Broadband. However, there are a few things to like about BT Broadband deals. They offer a good range of plans, including some with ultra-fast speeds in some areas. When compared to some other ultra-fast providers, especially Virgin Media, BT's upload speeds are much faster. They have a good range of add-ons available, which is useful if you're looking for cable TV channels or mesh Wi-Fi without the hassle of buying them separately. And finally, BT offers relatively good customer service, at least according to the statistics and speaking from my personal experience. If you're a current BT customer, we'd love to hear what you think about their customer service in the comments below. And if you're not sure which broadband provider to choose, feel free to ask for advice and we'll respond as soon as we can.